Hello, good morning, good evening, or good afternoon. Welcome to the channel. I was going to do a full review of the Quest Pro, but there's a lot of them out there. And so I just decided to focus on one aspect of it that has not been covered or I haven't seen it been covered. How good is it for fitness? Okay, so I didn't just buy it for fitness and to play games. I also bought it for productivity purposes as well. Since we knew ahead of time how much it was gonna cost and thanks to working from home and saving lots of money on gas, I was able to put money aside and purchase it for myself. Was also thinking about buying the Pico 4, but I don't wanna buy my games all over again. Sure, I have some of them on PC, but in order to play them on the go or play them anywhere I want, I still have to buy the games and install them to the Pico 4. I might reconsider and just use it for PC VR gaming if it ever comes to the US, but not really sure to be honest. I might just wait for something more advanced to come out. So this is not a full review like I said, but do I feel like I got ripped off? It's too early to say. But at this current time, the answer is no. I may come back and answer this question in another six months. But in this video, I wanted to focus on the fitness side of things. When actually slapping on the headset and jumping into a game, it's a whole lot better. The headset is comfortable and feels more balanced on your head, even though it's heavier than the Quest 2. The charger I bought for my Quest 2 fits perfectly on the Quest Pro and it adds a little more weight but it still feels more balanced and my neck thanks me for that. The controllers are slightly heavier than the Quest 2 controllers as well but they are smaller which makes your arm movements have more of a flow to them and allows you to move your hands faster. I did have those big kiwi grips that made my knuckles hurt on my Quest 2 but that's a whole other story and maybe that had some effect. So far I've played games like Fit XR, Beat Saver, Punch Fit, Gym Class, Meta Horizons, Ninja Legends and Big Ballers Basketball from the Quest Library and on the PC I played Power Beats VR, Rhythm of the Night, Pavlov, Synth Riders, X Booster slash X Fitness, Boombox and Ragnarok on the PC and so I gotta say the Quest Pro is great for fitness. I've only used it for two and a half days so far but the first thing I noticed was that I didn't wake up with a sore neck. I still woke up with a sore back but with less pain and hoping that goes away in due time. Although I've been told that my back problems stem from my uh, posture problem. I feel like I'm moving around more when playing fitness and rhythm games, but feeling and seeing are two different things. Like when you're in a game, you feel like a total badass, but when you look at a video of yourself playing that same game, it's a whole different story. Controllers track really well. The only beef I have with this headset is that you can't tilt it up to take it off like you can with the halo strap on the Quest 2 and it becomes very cumbersome if you're in a situation where you have to constantly take it off and put it back on. Like when I was setting up SideQuest and connecting it to my computer to set up video recording. Overall, I do like it so far. Some people are saying this headset was not built for gaming. You can play all the games from the Quest and Quest 2 library on this headset as well as PC VR games. So technically speaking, yes, you certainly can play games on this headset. What they meant to say is that this headset is not geared towards gaming and it's geared mostly towards the enterprise side of things. Whether or not this is a bad decision on the part of uh, Meta slash Facebook slash Oculus, whether this was a bad decision on their part, that remains to be seen. But yes, so far, I'm liking this headset. The straps it comes with are not so great. I took one of them out to try out the stylus tips and put it back in. Even did the little twisty thing to put it back on, but it fell to the ground 
and my heart stopped beating for a few seconds. Luckily, it was okay. I was standing at the time and it fell onto a wooden, a wood textured floor. Ouch, I bought these straps for it, but sadly, you can't charge the controllers when you have these straps on them. But luckily, they are very easy to put on and take off and it sure beats having to spend another $300 for a pair of these puppies. In all games I tried, my heart rate was a little bit higher than usual, but that could be because I was happy that the longest two weeks of my life was over and I finally got this sucker in my hands. The earphones I bought for the Quest 1 originally fit on this headset but I don't want to risk breaking it because it's a really tight fit. The sound that this headset produces is pretty good. Not earphone quality but still pretty close to it which I was surprised by. So I can wait for some good earphones to hit the market. So in closing I really do like this headset and it was a little pricey but the money I was able to save up would have gone to gas, vehicle maintenance fees and just adding more mileage to my car which means more wear and tear. That's all I got. Buh bye bye